Well, everybody starts zero and zero. You know, it's a, um, you, know, you battle through uh, a lot of things with new guys in non-conference, and uh, most everybody's either going to play 12 or 13 non-conference games. Teams that play 13 usually have a fourth game in their um, MTE, which is your exempt tournament. Um, but, you know, once you get through all that, <clears throat> you realize that um, now you start over. You know, we told our guys there's three seasons. There's non-conference, there's conference, and then there's postseason. So this is our middle season. And we've built up to this, so hopefully we um, um, a lot better now than we were in November, obviously. Um, that's why you have November basketball and you have um, early December basketball. Teams are still searching, especially when you got a lot of new guys. And then um, once you get the conference season, you got to be ready to go. Uh, South Florida is uh, you know, similar to when we took over our program, except I think they did a much better job recruiting because uh, they went the graduate transfer route. They've got two kids that are grad transfers that started at, that played at Penn State. Uh, they got uh, a 7-2 kid that uh, does, is pretty good. They got a 6-11 kid that transfer grad transfer up in USC. They, they've got five grand tr grad transfers. They're all 21, 22 years old. That's already been in college for four years, and now this is their fifth year. That makes them dangerous. Like uh, we're starting to get our shot a little bit. You know, we're starting to let, make uh, less and less. Defensive mistakes, and uh, the less defensive mistakes you make, the better team you are. So, I mean, I feel like we're starting to we're – play, we're, we're playing how we should at this time of the year. We, we, look, we look at what other teams are doing, but we don't – we're really focused on those for the most part. You know, Wichita State, Cincinnati, um, SMU, they're in the – you know, that's just they're, – they're them. We're just focused on us and trying to, you know, be the best we can be. A new season, you know, it's kind of a new, uh, new level of excitement. Everything matters that much more. Just excited to get it started. Uh, glad we had a break, but it's just time to get it, get it really get into the action now. It's where it gets real fun, so I'm looking forward to it, especially for the new guys. Yeah, the vibe last year was we, we marked our calendar for the games that we couldn't lose or that we needed to win to be on the NCAA resume. And uh, the games that we marked this year, we won a higher percentage of those games. And uh, last year, I believe we lost that Harvard game right at break. And it's just a different vibe when you, uh, when you go beat Providence on a neutral site. It's, opposed to losing to Harvard at home, uh, last minute shot. So uh, we're excited, you know, but we had a guest speaker come in yesterday. He came and told us a real good message of to not lose uh, our fear or to not lose our desperation and uh, have that vibe amongst us that we're, we're ready to go to war and we're not content because we had a good non-conference.